hello everyone so in that video uh, we'll be starting our training process so for that you need uh, a file called train.py so if you just open your yolo v5 so inside that you have a train.py and uh, the good thing is like uh, this yolo v5 actually uh, these guys actually have written all the things for you so you don't have to care uh, anything okay so you will just uh, give some kinds of arguments and uh, it will do your job okay not only during your training but also when you will be uh, like uh, doing the live inferencing at that time you can uh, easily use their detect.py and uh, it will do your job okay so i'll be showing you like how to do that uh, so it's like very easy so see first of all you need to select your trend.py and make sure you are inside in your uh, yolo v5 folder and here you need to select your image size so make sure what are the image size you have taken during your annotation so this size you just passed so i had taken uh, 416 so that's why i've mentioned and make sure you uh, have defined your batch size so it depends upon your uh, machine capability so here i'm using this free collab so i will be using the 16 so if you have a good gpu then you can increase that size and here you have to select your epochs so as of now i'll be selecting just 10 epochs uh, and uh, make sure you are trying to train around uh, 300 to 400 so you will get a good result otherwise like uh, uh, you won't be getting good results okay but the but just for demonstration purpose i have taken this uh, 10 number of epochs so that like i can show you and uh, here you need to pass your data.yml so see this is the data.yml just copy the path and just try to paste here okay and here you need to uh, send your config file so here which config actually we have customized so if i open my model so see a custom uh, yellow v5 s yaml okay so this is the yaml file we have configured okay so here we need to pass it and uh, what's like which pretend words you are uh, you want to use uh, so here i am using this yellow v5 uh, 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 like s dot pt uh, so here the good thing is like you don't have to download this uh, model manually so if you just uh, pass that okay if you just pass this name so it will automatically download for you but make sure you are giving the name like uh, uh, like in a correct format and if you want to see the correct format just go uh, just go and uh, open their github and try to see okay now and uh, you have defined like your uh, results folders name okay so what are the experiment it will do it will save all the things inside that folder okay so yeah, these are some basic configuration. And if you want to know more, just try to read that. Uh, read that. And uh, if you want to see like more configuration, just try to open their GitHub and try to see. So now uh, I'm going to start the training and uh, let's uh, train our model. So I'm going to execute that. So see, it is uh, trying to downloading the model. So see, it has downloaded the model. And uh, if I refresh, and uh, let me show you cc this is the model it it has already downloaded and it's trying to figure out your images and see our training has been started and if you see the logs actually it is uh, quite good actually all the things they're trying to print so you can easily get the idea like uh, what is happening so you can see the uh, map score here so so the more map score you have that means your model is uh, like too good okay <laughs> so guys our training has been done and it was uh, it had taken around one minute uh, 36 second around and it has saved all the results inside run let me refresh run train and yellow v5s results and inside that you can see all the results and uh, your weights okay so this is uh there are two words you can get one is last.pt and best.pt but most of the time we use this best.pt okay so yes guys this was all about uh, and in the next video i'll be showing you the uh, evaluation and uh, we'll be launching this uh, tensor boot okay and uh, we'll be seeing like how our model is performing so thank you so much